we have an update on the Jared Porter situation, the former GM of the New York Mets. Now, if you remember, if you remember that name, we talked about him months and months ago, probably around like six or seven months ago, back in January. So I'll link that in the description down below if you want to go check out what really happened. Um, but he has been placed on MLB's 20. Uh, he's been banned from MLB 2022 for his inappropriate conduct. Uh, because we talked about this like six or seven months ago, I'll touch up a little bit on what he did. Uh, so basically what he was doing, Mario, is that um, he was sending sexually explicit uh, uh, photos, uh, uninvited text messages and, and images to female reporter in 2016 when he was working for the Chicago Cubs in their front office. And he ended up getting hired by the Mets in December of 2020 as their uh, general manager. Uh, he was hired on December 13th. And then a month later, he ended up being hired after, after they found out about it. Um, so that's basically what ended up happening. And I have a statement from Rob Manfred it says, and I quote, my office has completed its investigation into alleged uh, inappropriate conduct by Jared Porter. Having reviewed all the available evidence, I have concluded that Mr. Porter violated MLB's policies and that placement on the ineligible list is warranted. We are committed to providing an appropriate work environment consi uh, consistent in our values for all those involved in our game. Um, and this article is written by uh, ESPN News Services. So I'll start off with this first, okay? This is happening a lot in Major League Baseball. You know, we talked about uh, Mickey Callaway. We've already talked about how he's been banned. Um, and unlike that one, I look at this, Mario, and – there hasn't been an apology, so he hasn't even talked about this at all. Um, and one other thing worth mentioning is that the Mets named Zach Scott as their acting general manager later in January after Jared Porter was fired. Um, so I figured that was also worth mentioning as well. But this has been happening quite a lot in Major League Baseball. You know, we talked about the Jared Porter situation before. We've already talked about Mickey Callaway. We've even talked about the Mets organization as a whole. Uh, there's a lot of inappropriate stuff going on, how workers were coming out saying, oh, yeah, you know, this is going on and that's going on. It leads me to wonder, how, mu how much more is this happening? And to what organization? You know, we, and this is a question that we asked with the NHL, you know, with that un unidentified Blackhawks player who said he got sexually assaulted during the Stanley Cup run. We talked about it like that. How much more does this happen? Because I'm going to be honest with you, Mario, a lot happens behind the scenes that we don't know about. That's why all these stories come out 10, 15 years later after they happen, because behind the scenes, most likely don't, if there's eyes and ears, they just keep their mouth shut or, or they're too traumatized to come out about it because they don't want to, be, you know, they don't want people being like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, you know, you're wrong about this. They would never do that. You know what I mean? That's why we end up hearing about these stories so many years later. Oh, yeah. right. Exactly. They get threatened and all that other stuff. That's where all that personal trauma comes in. So, I mean, honestly, it really, it really gives me that question. How much more how, does this happen a lot more than we realize? And most likely, it probably, unfortunately, it probably does. But again, we just don't know because, like I said, behind the scenes, there's just, you know, eyes and ears are shut and closed. You know, trauma gets in the way. And, you know, that's just that. But honestly, Mario, I don't want to think about it like that because I want to think about it on a, on a positive note, but it, it really, sometimes it really does make you think how much more does this happen? It really does. So, um, yeah, with that being said to the New York Mets, again, I'll link that video in the description down below as well. We did talk about that. I think it was a couple of months ago, um, how there's a lot going on in that organization as well with the workers. So I'm not too sure what's going on. I haven't heard much from it. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. So, I'm just interested to see what's going to happen moving forward. So with that being said, I'll just pass on to you, Mario. Yeah, Nate. Um, one thing I completely forgot about this situation is that he was only working with the Mets, Mets for a month. You know, he, he was a GM for a month. And then once the news came out, they fired him in January. And um, yeah, the news came out when uh, ESPN's uh, Mina Keems and uh, Jeff Kassan reported on Porter's uh, conduct. So came 12 hours after that new, new story came out. I will say this. I will give MLB credit on this one thing right here, okay? The fact that this, uh, the punishment given to Jared Porter was the same exact punishment given to Mickey Calloway, okay? Because that's something we've been talking about with the MLB, how their punishments are not consistent. This case, good job to them. Salute to them because this was a very consistent punishment. I think it's a very fair punishment. And to be honest with you, 
after it's all said and after it's all over, Mickey Callaway and Jared Porter aren't going to get a job, I don't think, in the MLB. Who in their right mind are going to hire them? You know, I believe everybody deserves second chances, but after this, like, it's going to be really hard for you to get that second chance. But overall, like, again, you're absolutely right. It's to the point where I don't understand why this keeps on happening, you know? I don't get it. It, it shouldn't it shouldn't happen. Like I don't understand. You have a high you have a high uh you get you have a high role you have a big role in one of one of the biggest teams in the MLB in the Mets or the Chicago Cubs and you end up doing something as stupid as this and then you just jeopardize your whole entire career. I don't get why you would do that. Seriously. Look, the the it's obviously the reporter, you know, it, it was uh, they, these texts and everything like that. They were unwanted. I don't understand why you would even consider doing something like that, you know? And again, you are right in it. I feel like this does happen a lot in sports behind the offices. Now, again, I'm not accusing every single professional sports team of doing this, you know, that's what I'm saying. But I feel like there are teams behind behind the scenes that are doing this. And people, again, they keep their mouth shut because they, either they're being threatened, they're being threatened, their jobs are being threatened. Like in the same case with the Chicago Black Hawks player, he said that the guy, the uh, the uh, video assistant or whoever it might have been, was threatening his job. You know, so he kept his mouth shut. Stuff like they're they're being threatened. They're not being believed when they do report it. Stuff. This got to stop. Seriously. It seriously has to stop because it's getting aggravating. It's getting disgusting and it's getting sickening, man. It really is. Like we, we report about this way too much now. Way too much. And we shouldn't even be reporting about it as much as we do. But again, we do. And 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 like you said, a lot of this stuff, it comes out years later. You know, we talk about the Ohio State doctor going on since 1979. So like, so what are we doing here, Nate? Seriously. Like, I don't understand what we're doing here. You know, like, but overall, you know, again, to the MOB, I'm glad that you, the punishment for uh, Jared Porter and Mickey Calloway are consistent. And I, again, you know, let this be a lesson, okay? You, I'm telling you, if you cannot jeopardize your future like this. You cannot jeopardize your career like this with the actions that these people are doing. It, it can't be happening. And again, if you hear, if you see something, you hear something say something and to all the teams out there okay if you hear something and say something or, and you see something or whatever the case might be you need to act on it immediately do not wait because if you wait not only is it bad for whoever reported it but it's also bad for you because your team gets punished as well you don't want that so report it immediately it's this best for everybody